so cool. surface here. Dig their way out. their nest here. Huh. 
my guardian and protector. I thank you, I do. Let me see what you're offering. What would you say to a little game of Gwent? Do not cast them out, probably. All may draw from the well of the eternal fire's grave. Approach. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day? A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Stinks like a mass grave. Now for the only ones. Hope they burn well. Now for a shot of igni.
grave. Now, the oils. They burn well. Now for a shot of Igni. Shit, one's still alive. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of the trade. Shut me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. Now for a shot of Igni.
Let's go. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the Fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistek dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time, exclusively. You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Dead man, dead man!
I'll not give her up. Not on me life. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse beneath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. All right, all right. Looking for a man goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape Vodka. Who's this? Un? Brave warrior, looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. We share around, won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. To your health and mine. Bottoms up! If you want to rest, come with me. On the bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I think he'll be disguised. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Hmm. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Hmm. Rig tins? Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. Uh, that the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Temerian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his company. Showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. 
So they took the old lord's castle, and the baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch, give him a true title. Thanks. Farewell. A Witcher, and not a second too soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi, it's my brother Mickle. Been a week now since you took the women of Bellows into the hills. The uh, women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village, till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad, so Mickle took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost, is all. But if worse comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of master clogs. Told him not to wear him into the hills, he'd only ruin him. But he was so proud of him. Think I know enough. Thanks.